Good morning everyone. Welcome to another edition of Morning Coffee Scriptures. Please share my videos with all your contacts to touch lives and help me to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now the Morning Coffee Scripture for today. And the Numbers uh, chapter 12, where well, they talked about Miriam. So I'm going to talk about the character, the person of a Miriam. You know, it's like ask an older brothers or sister what their greatest trial in life is. And they will often answer my younger brother or sister. This is especially the truth when the younger siblings is more successful than the older. Remember in that chapter 12, Marian was jealous of his brother. So we're going to talk about Marian. The bond of friend or family royalty can be strained to be the breaking point. When we first met Marian in this chapter, she's involved in one of history's most unusual babysitting jobs. She is watching her infant brother float on the Nile River in a waterproof kettle. Marian quickly thinking aloud thinking allowed Moses to be raised by his own mother. Her protective superiority reinforced by the event must have been hard to give up as she watched her little brother raised to greatness. Hmm. Eventually, Moses' choice of wife gave Marian an opportunity to criticize. It was natural for her insecurity to break out over this issue. With Moses' marriage, Miriam was clearly no longer the most important woman in his life. I know somebody will say, yeah, Joe, I know, I know that's right. The real issue, however, was not the kind of woman Moses had married. It was the fact that he was now the most important man in Israel. As the law spoke in only the, through Moses, as in he also spoke in through us, no mention is made of Moses' response. But God had to quickly respond to Marian and Aaron. Without denying their role in his plan, God clearly pointed out his special relationship with Moses. I tell people, if you work for God, truthfully, if you worship God in spirit and truth, you don't have to fight your battles. You don't have to fight your enemies. You don't need to talk back to anybody. You just keep on going and let God, the battle fighter, take care of it. They fought for, for Moses here. Yeah. Listen, Mary was stick strike with leprosy, a deadly disease, as punishment for her insubordination. But Moses, true to his character, the Bible recorded that Moses was the most humble human being in the whole wide world, intervened for his sister. So that God heal Miriam for her leprosy. Before criticizing someone, and this is where I'm coming from. I'm talking to you, my brother. I'm talking to you, my sister. Before criticizing someone else, we need to pause long enough to discover our own motive. Mm -hmm. Failing to do this can bring distraction. Result. What is often labeled? constructive criticism may actually be destructive jealousy. Say that again, Reverend John. What is actually labeled constructive criticism may actually be destructive jealousy, hatred. Since the easier way to raise our own status to bring someone else down, are you willing to question your motives? before you offer criticism. Hmm. Does the critical finger uh, 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 you are pointing to someone need to be pointed first towards you? I tell people when you do this, the four fingers are pointing to you. So, and Jesus put it all, remove what is in your eyes before you remove what is somebody's eyes. And he concluded, 
do not judge, for you will not be judged. Do not jealous your brothers and sisters. Satan is using his uh, his uh, his uh, 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 arrows and and uh, uh, wickedness to put uh, uh, division between each other. People that are supposed to love each other, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, families. They just things are just working because this is the last days. Uh, like the Bible prophesies that they, during the last days uh, they will be fight against each other. Let us pause. And see what is happening in the whole wide world. That Jesus is coming soon. So that we can repent for the kingdom of God is, is, is at hand. The strength that are, and the accomplishment here uh, that Marian did. Marian's strength was quick, thicker than under pressure. Able, say, an able leader. Marian was a songwriter. Marian was a prophetess. But his, her weakness and mistake was jealous of his own brother's Moses authority openly criticized Moses leadership and the lesson we should learn from more from Mary's life the motive behind the criticism are often more important to deal with than the criticism himself and all these things happened in Egypt at Sinai in Pendesola and the Moses and Mary are relatives. Moses uh, is the brothers, Aaron and Moses. And uh, the key verses you can understand here is the Mary and the prophetess, Eros' sister took a tambourine in her hand. And all the women followed her with tambourine, like this is my tambourine that I carry. And they dance, uh, and Mary sing to them, and sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, uh, the horse and his rider. Uh, he has hauled into the sea when God did that. And you can check that in Exodus chapter 15, 20, 21. Miriam's stories is told in Exodus 2.15 and Numbers 12.20. She's also mentioned in Deuteronomy 24.29 and Chronicles 6.3 and Malachi 6.4. So we're talking about Miriam and a lot of us that look like that uh, have that weakness and uh, the bad part of Miriam. I just want us to repent. It's not too late. That's why Miriam was in the Bible. For you, you, you to repent from being wicked and jealous of your own brothers and sisters love your brothers love your neighbor as yourself do not judge because if you did all the other points are pointing at you prayer dear god help me to read and meditate on your word so that your spirit can use it to point out my sin please forgive me forgive my sins and lead me not into temptation in jesus christ uh, my great redeemer name amen god bless you almightily have you talked to jesus today have you read the world the bible remember i love you but god loves you more my name again is reverend joy i will invite you and i will see you in the same time the same station tomorrow amen god bless you Stay away from trouble of jealousy and hatred. I appreciate you watching, and remember, we are not just telling stories, but we are changing lives. And when you share my videos, you are helping to change lives too. So start a watch party on Facebook, and because the support you all show helps to evangelize and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Also, subscribe and like to the YouTube link above, and follow us on Facebook.com slash Divine Church of Christ, Twitter.com slash Divine underscore SOC, and Instagram.com slash Divine Souls of Christ. And check out our new website on the link below. Thank you.